Hello, Professor Baker. This is Rodney Johnson. I'm doing my Unit 12 project. Today is November 14th, 2021. Uh, I picked number six out of the textbook. And so I have written my equation that z equals 2x plus 3y. x is greater or less than 0. y is greater than or less than 0. 2x plus 3y equals less than or equal to 12. x plus 12 is greater or equal to than 3. So once I have written this out, what I did was I came through the next uh, side of the paper here and I went through and I graphed 1 through 12 on my y-axis and my x-axis. And then based on this value here of three, I know that that will be the bottom of my region, which is here. So then I plotted three to three here. And then when I came to two X plus three Y, it was less than or equal to 12 so i know it wasn't going to exceed this region outside of uh here and so i graphed accordingly found 12 and 12 and then i've shaded my region to show this is my region here then i plotted accordingly um, 0 comma y 12 comma 0 0 comma 3 3 comma 0 representing x and y um, and then X and Y, X and Y, X and Y. So once we have that, then we write out each one of our um, values that we got here into our original equation, which is here, Z equals two X plus three Y. So then I just went through and I took each value, zero comma three X and Y, and I plugged it into z equals 2x plus 3x. So z equals 2 times 0 because x goes here. And then plus 3 times 3, which is y goes here, equals 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And so, and 2 times 0 is 0. And then I keep moving down this same equation here and plugging in my points that you see here, moving through the equation. So I just plug and play. So z equals two times three plus three times zero equals six. Then I continue to go and I do zero and 12, x and y. z equals two times zero plus three times 12 equals 36. z, oh, then we have the coordinates uh, 12 and zero there. z equals two times 12 plus three times zero equals 24. So as we look at the values that we're getting, the max value within this problem is going to be 36.